pretty scared for Bly here. This is not a good matchup for him. Bly's bag of tricks is unlikely to work here. Euthermal's one of the most adaptive Terrans out there. He has such a strong fundamental understanding of the game, he just knows what to do when things go crazy. Bly's been able to torture a lot of macrobots over the years, but I don't think Euthermal's one of them. In fact, historically, Bly does not have a very good record against Euthermal. Fortunately, Bly is a guy you just never count out. He's a creative genius. I'm just saying, today he might need to be more of a genius than a creative. There's our opening racks down on Romanticide. And our Zerg player is going to go hatch first, placing that at his natural. No funny business there, which I admit is a little bit disappointing, but I don't have time to give you 13 reasons BLY! <laughs> Yeah, the dude is still on fire. Current world rank 42. Hey, 42, that's the meaning of life for any of you Douglas Adams fans. Bly's gonna go extractor pool while our Terran player is busy finishing up his racks. You watch, you thermals building Sim City usually involves these neat rows and columns. The guy is super organized. I'd be willing to bet the guy has an impeccable closet. All right, there's a Reaper, and based on the minerals, it looks like we're looking at a traditional Reaper expand build here. And that includes the just-in-case SCV that's leaping out there to check on Bly's hatch. A good Terran player is always prepared, which is why his underwear is thermal! Current world rank 19. Thermy's really been putting his injury behind him and moving up in the world. There's that hatch pop. Terran's gonna see it. It's gonna be two queens and four lings. Remember, the Reaper's already out on the map. First Marines being produced and now a factory. It's the traditional mid-map high five as that Reaper takes over the scouting duties of the SCV. The lings are gonna be done in time. The queen is not. It just never is, so it means those lings are gonna have to stall and delay that reaper. Ling speed's just starting now. If Euthermal is denied a drone, perhaps he can pick up a ling. But I think Bly might be thinking maybe he can pick up a reaper. But either way, the queen's gonna be here now. Meanwhile, back at home, Euthermal's halfway down on his reactor. And he started up a third command center in his main. Queen is straying off creep to try to zone out that reaper and she's gonna get bounced for her efforts. Queen bouncing is a little bit like cow tipping. You think it's funny at the time, but when you look back on it, you realize it's a little bit juvenile. And probably not much fun for the cows. So Bly's gotta be pleased that there's been no damage done by that Reaper. He's actually sending out his lings for some kind of counter. Euthermal's working on Rax number two. He's also producing a singular Hellion, even though he's got the reactor on his factory. The Reaper is not coming back to defend. And Bly is not making more lings, so this could get interesting. Suddenly both players just a shade more vulnerable than we'd normally see at this stage of the game. Bly's timing this little excursion to line up with his ling speed finishing. He's also started that lair. Upgrade complete and the lings are gonna dash. Ah, uh, but Euthermal's got two Hellions out. And he's on top of things, he gets his depot up and that's gonna be a first blood. Meanwhile, the Reapers correctly deduce the timing on Bly's third. He's gonna catch the building drone all out in the open. Bly with the extractor save, no! The Reaper blocked it, that was a sweet move. And then he gets the scout on the lair. And then the escape. This Reaper is doing a little bit of a James Bond impression here. He's got himself an Austin Martin jetpack. Oh, but here comes Dr. No! Bly gets revenge, picks off the Reaper. I just love the death animation on the Reaper. It's so satisfying. Ooh, Bly has to remake his hatch after he realizes he didn't get it in the exact right spot. It costs him 75 bucks. If he would have shopped at Costco, he would have got a free return. New Thermal takes out the unbuildable plates and we've got ourselves a Baneling nest. Stim for Terran and a reactor switch going over to the starport. Bly's gonna try to see that with his Overlord. He's been stashing that guy on the left side of the map all game. Bly's gonna try to get out of there before he gets spotted, but he was spotted, and the stutter step wielding Marines are gonna take him down. No free scouts for you. We've got Lings headed north. The Baneling Nest is just about to finish. He might be looking to sneak some Banelings in there. 
Bly has started up Baneling Speed. Stim is just about finished for Euthermal, though. That could be a go-go-go signal for our Terran player. Yeah, he's queuing up a bit of a force here, and he's walling off his natural. Euthermal scans Bly's natural. He's gonna see the Baneling Speed. He's not gonna see, though, that Bly is making a Spire. He's really only just started it now. Euthermal's taken off. He's got two medevacs chock full of marines. Well, he does have two vacant seats in one. I mean, you always have to have a couple empty seats just in case an attractive celebrity needs a lift. Oh, Bly's done such a good job of pushing his creep out here, but I think it's about to take a huge beating. Euthermal's testing out his shiny new stim pack. Bly has to let it go. His banelings aren't ready. And even when they get here, they're still not gonna be able to do the roly-poly thing for a while. Oh, Euthermal's actually hitting the Banes. That's terrible. A big score for Euthermal. His push just got a lot more powerful than it should have been. And then he goes and lands his third at the triangular position right behind this. Bly's on that, though, with his hidden links. I was wrong. He didn't turn them into Bane. And in that case, Euthermal's going to have more than enough to clean them up. He's left his Hellions at him. However, Bly is also going to get the cleanup. His Speed Banes are out now. Oh, I love how Euthermal left one Marine behind just so it could trigger off a Baneling. It's a tiny thing, but technically it's a winning trade. Terra nets 25 gas by pulling off that stunt. Oh, look at this. No Evo Chamber for Bly, but he's going to get plus one air. These Mutas are going to mean business. They are streaking off to the left-hand side. The Banelings are streaking off to the right. And I do mean that literally. Neither group is wearing clothes of any kind. The naked mutas are going to try to attack the natural, but there is a turret there. And the banelings and the buff are actually going to get intercepted. Oh, more bad luck for Bly. Euthermal cleans them all up for free. He pushes back the mutas. Perfect defense by the Terran player. And now he's got a much bigger army of his own with which he can use to stage attacks. Euthermal's winning the resources lost game. He's winning the income game. And frankly, his units are wearing a lot more clothes. And I think that's a metric a lot of fans don't pay enough attention to. Bly is trying to get his fourth up. That's one way he can get himself back in this. But Euthermal has a second force ready to launch. It includes a lot of Widow Mines. Actually, those Widow Mines aren't so hot in the clothing department either. This place is starting to look like a nudist colony. Euthermal takes the center of the map. He begins to clear out the creep. At the same time, he gathers up his other force into his dropships. Bly tries to intercept with his mutas, but there's not enough of them yet. He's working on three more and trying to finish plus one. Euthermal's dropships are indeed sneaking around the back. Terran hits the fourth. The Banelings hit the front line. Bly gets the Baneling connections, but he doesn't have enough firepower to seal the deal. The fourth base is exposed and the natural's getting dropped. Bly just does not have the forces to deal with this. He's trying to stall while he makes the Banelings he needs. But the drone kills are piling up. There's 15 of them. Euthermal's killing his banelings before they can complete. The plus one, plus one marines are hitting him on both sides. Ten more banelings are about to finish. Will they be enough? They smash the hell back. And they clear the natural. 34 lings in production. But Euthermal's not done. He goes after the third. The marines have stimmed so hard they've almost killed themselves. But they have gotten so many drones for their efforts. The final tally is 28. Euthermal may be headed home, but Bly's economy is in tatters. Euthermal's getting plus two, plus two, and he's getting drilling claws and a Thor. Oh, Bly needs detection for these mines. An overseer is gonna come on up here and he's gonna be able to clear out these widow mines. Bly's in a ton of trouble. He's down on every statistical category. The one thing he does have is he has a burrow. Maybe a well-placed baneling mine could somehow turn the tide because he's about to lose his bottom center base. Yeah, there's the Baneling Mine. Looks like he's gonna sack this base and then try to lure your thermal up the ramp. Let's catch this order, Pinya. Go oh, and you thermal drops a scam right on the Baneling. So smart. Bly remains in a really tough position, trying to remake his Banelings, trying to remake his Mutas, trying to stay alive while he can remake some kind of fortune. Euthermal stims up the ramp, but there's nothing there for him to kill. Baneling's going for the mineral line. They get shut down hard, and Thor is here. And now life is going to get really rough for the mutas. Bly has a decent flock. If he can get some medevacs, no! Euthermal is so good, he drops the marine and just punishes the mutas. The aforementioned good flock is suddenly undersized. 
And you thermal's about to hit plus two, plus two on the numeric upgrades. Bly wound up getting a double Evo chamber, but he's never put them to use. He's been too busy getting blasted. You thermal's picking up concussive shells. He's thinking about mixing in marauders. That's really gonna help him with the banelings. But they're not here yet, though if you thermal can keep catching the banelings in the open. No, Bly finishes his next pack just in time and spirits it away. Oh, Widowmind shot on the overseer. Bly is down 40 supply. He's He's dumping his money into Banelings and Mutas. It's the lack of gas that's acting as a bottleneck on Zerg's production. And now the Thor is reaching his third base location. This is gonna be a really tough hold for Bly. Zerg has just started making his fourth. If he loses his third, he's effectively down a base against the Terran. New Thermal sneaking his Marines behind that mineral line. He's got them spread into groups to deal with the Banelings. This is such a well-coordinated attack here. You Thermal is slowly advancing his units like chess pieces, working them into position for that checkmate. Bly has to sack his third, and that's gonna leave him supply blocked. Bly's gonna try a countersault. If he can somehow force the Terran to pull back, he might live another day. That bunker does not help, though. Bly can defeat it, but it gives you Thermal enough time to get his defenses in place, and that includes another Thor. Terran's got one at home, one Thor on the Zerg base. There's nowhere safe for those mutas now. Still, Bly did get you Thermal to turn around. It's gonna give him a chance to try to get his third back. Bly definitely wants a breather here. You Thermal set up a fortress at his fourth, and he's actually halfway done, plus three, plus three. Oh, Banelin landmine! Eight marine kills, not bad, but a long ways away from getting him back in this game. The supply lead has increased to 70. It's a big time deficit. Bly's gonna dump all of his money into another round of mutas. If he can get his flock up to critical mass and somehow keep the Terran busy. Look at this, how does you thermal know? Or after that last Baneling mine hit, he just decides he's gonna scan everywhere. I guess that's the added power of the Baneling mine. Keep your opponent terrified. But you thermal does not look terrified. He's just gonna rip down Bly's fourth again. And you can see all the Marauders that are mixed in this time around. You Thermal is maxed out. He's even starting to build himself a bit of a bank. There are three Thors in this assault. The Marauders position themselves in front to take the Baneling hits. Ooh, Bly just used up 16 Banelings, getting very little for his efforts. I do not see how he's gonna stop this force now. The Mutas are gonna give it a try. They wanna try to get on top of those Thors, but there's too many of them, it's GG. Victory for you, Thermal. Very decisive throughout. First things first, we gotta give props to you, Thermal, for his snipe on the drone trying to put down the third. He knows his timings and he knows the exact moment that Bly's gonna try to build it. He shows up with his Reaper. And then when Bly goes for the extractor save, he body blocks it with his Reaper and gets the kill. That's just high level phenomenal play all around. But that doesn't win him the game, of course. What I wanna talk about is what I think was the actual tipping point where Bly lost this. If I can sell you on this, I think Bly had one round of bad luck or bad play if you prefer, and everything kind of rolled downhill from there. I start by taking us to a point where Bly has done everything right. He's just ably defended the Terran and he's trying to get his fourth up. At the same time, he's teched up the Mutas, so he's gonna try to apply some pressure. He's gonna have his Mutas attack the left-hand side to suck the defense, and then he's gonna hit him on the right with a group of Banelings. At the same time, he's gonna put down that fourth and he's gonna invest in researching Burrow. Now it starts out going really right for Bly because Euthermal is going to move out with the bulk of his forces, but Bly is going to be able to hit first, which is a perfect scenario. Bly is either going to force the turnaround, which is very good considering what he's got going on at home, or he's going to have an opportunity to do more damage than he otherwise should have. So what goes wrong? Euthermal doesn't take the center attack path. Instead, he sends his forces on the right hand side. That means his main force is going to intercept those Banelings. The Mutas kind of do their job. They hit a turret so they don't do any damage, but they do suck all of you Thermal's remaining defenders to the left-hand side, in theory, leaving it open for the Banelings. But the Banelings run smack into you Thermal's main force. And, unfortunately, nobody's watching. 
Euthermal's forces are going to quickly wipe out the Banelings for free with no casualties, and they're going to be able to continue their attack. Now if we switch the camera over to Bly's point of view, you can see that he misses this entirely. Bly's busy doing what he rightly assumes is going to be more important stuff. He's microwing his mutas, and he's macroing back at home. The Banelings are in transit, and they don't need a babysitter. By the time he clicks onto the Baneling battle, they're already dead. To his credit, he doesn't waste a single moment reflecting on it. But I'm pretty sure a choice word or two went through his head at the time. Now if we check Euthermal's camera for the same timestamp, we find that Euthermal does catch it, and he drops a series of attack commands. It's going to essentially happen in the blink of an eye, so I'm going to have to slow it down. Here comes his forces, he drops his armory, and then he machine guns a bunch of clicks to eliminate the Banelings going right back to defend those mutas. Here it is, slowed down to one quarter speed because the whole thing happens in two seconds. Only two of his units are in range to actually shoot until he micros it. And once he does, it's lights out. Supply doesn't do damage, he doesn't delay Euthermal's attack, and once Euthermal shows up at his doorstep, he doesn't have enough to defend. He hasn't lost the game, but he's officially playing from behind. And Euthermal never really steps off the gas, he just keeps coming at him. And ultimately, that's the game. Sometimes, this is a game of eye blinks. And today, Bly was the blinker. I wish good tidings for you all, so let me just say, may you always have your eyes open for whatever life's most important moments are for you. And from my base to yours, Zugs Wang out. To continue your StarCraft journey, Nova advises you to click the video in the upper rectangle. But Kerrigan warns you to watch your six and click the video in the bottom rectangle. Or you can stimpack your StarCraft experience. Subscribe to Zugzwang StarCraft. Just hit the circle. From my base to yours, Zugzwang out.